Did you get the player satisfaction survey that was on the main menu? Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Sims 4 news video. So some Simmers have got this got a minute. We would love to know what you currently think about The Sims 4. Here it is a little zoomed in and fun fact, you may notice that The Sims are different here because I've actually got this on my main menu three times and The Sims are different. So this screenshot is from when I got it the second time because the very first time I got it, I just did it. And then I thought afterwards, I wish I would have got screenshots. So I asked some friends and I did get some screenshots and they do have different Sims depending on it, but they obviously only have, a, you know, so many permutations of how they do it. But then I got it a second time, which is the screenshots here. And I made sure to get some screenshots when I filled it in a second time. So there really is one question, this player satisfaction question. When playing The Sims 4, how happy are you with the current new game flow? Create a Sim, pick a plot, build, and then live mode. So initially I was like, hmm, neutral maybe? But then I thought about it and I decided I would say, dissatisfied, which I didn't get a screenshot of that, but that was what I answered, that I was dissatisfied. So I'm curious what you think. So then they actually went on to say, why? How might you like the game start process to differ? And then they gave us 180 characters to give our reason for why we would like or how we would like it to be different or how... So that's what I filled in. And I said, when starting a new save, I would like to be able to choose between creating a new household or going to map view to either choose a pre-made household or to build, because that is actually how I feel. I don't always want to start a new household if I'm starting a new save. I might just want to have a new save that I'm trying to play slots and I may not know what Sims I want, or I may just want to play with a pre-made household because I do do that sometimes. So yeah, so that's, how I would like it to be different. I'm curious what obviously your thoughts are or if you got the survey, how you filled it in. So then it went on to say further comments. This is where I struggled a little bit with only having 180 characters because I would probably have more than that, but I had to try and keep it kind of short. So my response there was, I would like more emphasis to be made on fixing current bugs, updating the underlying game engine, and more playtesting of new game features and packs, and perhaps with current simmers. Essentially what I meant with the last thing is I think it would be good if they did like a rollout to like a handful of playtesters who are say on console and different, you know, computers have different packs because then they probably would find things differently because that's essentially what happens when they roll out updates we get them and then there's bugs and we report them and they have to fix them. It'd be nice if they were just rolling it out to a smaller subset of people before rolling it out to everybody because some of these bugs, as I'm sure you know, can be game breaking or save breaking. More save breaking can break your saves. Um, we've had a few of those, like when they had the aging bug, when we had the pre-high school years update and they changed the whole aging system. And so people who played on short or long lifespans were having problems with their Sims. If you were on long lifespan, they were aging up and some were dying. And with the short lifespan, it, it just, they weren't aging up because essentially they were kind of trying to make it be like normal because previously the short and the long were linked to normal and they broke that link and somehow when they did it they broke it and then of course you had the crystal creations where they you know were trying to optimize the game engine and they got rid of the moodlets so when you reloaded your save the moodlets were gone but that broke saves so there's been many things where they've caused big issues where they've essentially had to try their best to roll out emergency patches but you know I really think they could avoid that if they actually play tested with simmers Though the downside of that, of course, is you got to have, you know, you can't be saying anything if you're testing it because they want to keep it quiet. So you'd have to have people signing that they're not going to disclose anything in that case, which is why I can see why they don't do it. But I still think it would be good if they could do it. When you finish, you got this fun dag dag. Thanks, Simmer. We appreciate your feedback. And like I said, I've actually got this there. It's on my main menu for a third time. I've only filled it in the two times and the only reason I did it a second time was because I wanted to get the screenshots myself. But interestingly, and I actually had this thought too, I saw this tweet by Somatically where he said they literally said they would allow us to go directly into the world selection like five years ago and nothing happened. I don't remember the timing. I don't remember if it was five years ago and he is like saying like so he's approximating that. But I do remember them saying that 
I couldn't find anything when I was trying to look, but I definitely remember them saying that they were going to, with, you know, whatever the next update was, let us do this. Uh, so I remember being quite disappointed when they didn't. And a friend said that they thought that that was when they changed it so that we now have like the resume button, which I think also caused issues when I rolled that out, if I remember correctly. But that was quite a while ago. I remember having issues with saves at that point. I responded there and I said, I remember that too, though don't remember how long ago it was. I'd say I hope it happens now because I kind of do hope it happens now because I would like to be able to choose between creating a household or loading right into map view. But I'm also very afraid of how many things would break if they do it. But uh, it would be nice if they could do it without breaking anything or making sure that, you know, I'm sure when they're testing it, things break, but making sure that those things are fixed before it gets rolled out. Let me know what you think about this question, either how you answered it or how you would answer it if you haven't got the survey. And do you think this is hinting that we're actually going to be getting a change to how we may do the whole new save process? Or perhaps they're doing this for Project Renee. Who knows? But that's actually going to be it for this video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!